about yourself. realized they were going to be talking about chairs and fucking bowls. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, bro. Every time, all right, bro, you look like you're quiet. Yo. Yo, what's that for? I'll follow, bro. I just asked you a question. Oh, sorry, bro. It's just been a stressful time. Nah, bro, it's all good. What's up? Man, this professor is testing my limits, bro. And some kids told me that we need to reach the hardest part of the fucking... Oh, you good, Dylan? No, you're good, bro. Continue with your rant. I agree the chairs were a bit overwhelming. How am I supposed to know which chair is more stable when I'm looking at a bunch of fucking chairs? Let me see, you got it up right there? Yeah. Oh, it's not that bad. See, the first and last choice, the two groups in the axial position and one group in the equatorial group. So the first one has two methyl groups in the axial and a methyl, methyl group in the equatorial. But the last choice has two methyl groups in the axial and propyl in the equatorial. So the second choice is the most stable because it has two groups in the equatorial and only one group in the axial. So two groups in the, two propyl in the equatorial and a methyl in the axial. So the more groups you have in the equatorial, the more stable the chair is basically. Wow Dylan, that's why you're the gold. You explained something in two seconds that the professor took nearly an hour trying to explain. You should be a professor yourself. You know me, man. Living legend. Nah, bro, you're just a fucking nerd. Whatever, man, you know I'm right. You're definitely not good, bro, so you gotta tell us what's going on for real. Explain everything to Russ because I do not give a flying fuck. Bro, chill, shut up, man. I appreciate you, Russ. You know the interview is tomorrow, right? Already? Wow. Man, Dylan, you're going to blow it. Thank you, Wissam. I forgot how much of a good friend you are. Dylan, all I know is you're going to be prepared for this interview. You could have been prepared for a while ago. You are the smartest man I know, bro. You got it. Yeah, it's not just about academics, though. I got to show them my character, my personality. My personality has to be suitable as a doctor. I got to show them that Dylan Josephs is a doctor. Yes, sir.
Wow, bro. You can't go five seconds without saying anything dorky. Whatever, man. If I don't get into med school, you'll be the reason why it was him. Bro, that doesn't even make any sense. But seriously, man, just like Horace said, you're the smartest guy I know. If med school doesn't accept you, then it's their fucking loss. Appreciate you, bro. <sighs> I don't know, man. I've just dreamed of being a doctor my whole life. I took the MCATs, did amazing on them. I got an interview. I'm almost there. I really want to get into med school, man. I'll do whatever it takes. Literally anything. What, will you turn to the dark side of the forest? Huh? Russ, explain to the supposed Star Wars nerd what I'm trying to get at, please. He's trying to say, are you willing to do unjust things to get into medical school? What do you mean by unjust things? Man, look at Vader, bro. He slaughtered children just to save his wife. And at the end, he didn't even save his wife. So what I'm trying to say is, even if you don't get accepted into med school, it's all good. Everything happens for a reason. So what I'm hearing is, you don't think I'm gonna get into med school? You're missing the whole point, Dylan. You are gonna get accepted to med school. You're more than qualified. The admission might just be filled with lunatics. Even if you don't get accepted, it's not the end of the world. Yeah. I think I know what you mean. Thanks for making this, Mom. You know it's my favorite. Anything for my handsome boy. My future physician needs his best meal. Don't worry, Dylan. It's gonna be a breeze. You're capable of anything. Thank you, guys. But, <clears throat> let's just say you don't get in, can't have a repeat of what happened with your license. Yeah, honey, that was unacceptable behavior. I was worried you were going to get banned from taking your road test. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't think I'll get in? No, honey, we know you'll get in. But in the off chance that you don't, the earth will keep rotating. Don't worry about it. Dylan, sit down. Dylan! Dylan, your mother's right. Come back. It was to be expected. We are so lucky that that examiner did not press charges. I just pray to God the interview goes well tomorrow. For the interviewer's sake. This year has been the craziest year for medical school applications. It's been a record high of the most applicants in medical school history. And to make matters even worse, this year has been the lowest annual acceptance rate in years with a whopping average acceptance rate of 1.1%. My name is Dr. Cortez. Nice to meet you, ma'am. Your application really impressed me. The amount of clinical experience you have is great. Your grades are stellar, and your MCAT score is the cherry on top. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. I did have a little concern that I want you to clear up with me right now. It has to do with your personal statement. Yes, of course, doctor. What's the issue? Well, it's written perfectly. It illustrates how we want to be a doctor, which is key in personal statements. But I'm not ex entirely sure who you are, so I guess what I'm trying to express is, can you explain to me who you are? Tell you about myself? Precisely. Who is Dylan Josephs? Well, uh... I'm... 
everything all right, Dylan? Yeah, um, well, that's a really challenging question. Oh, is it really? That wasn't my intention. I thought it was a very basic question. Just tell me who you are. Like, to start off, what do you enjoy doing? Uh, well, there's nothing really in particular that I enjoy. You name it, I enjoy it. Um, what? I'm sorry, I'm not really following. I enjoy everything. Uh, you enjoy everything? Well, in that case, do you enjoy murder? <laughs> well, of course I don't enjoy that. Well then, specify to me, what do you enjoy doing? Did you though? Bro, come on man, you know it's all tough love. I have to be on you because you never know what happens. <sighs> Whatever man. Thanks for Sam. Well, we have to celebrate. Dill, where do you want to go bro? Nah, don't really, you don't gotta stress about it bro. I'm not really feeling too good anyway. You're kidding right? Russ, please tell me that he's kidding. Dude, you're gonna go to medical school. You're going to be a doctor and of course we have to celebrate. Not guaranteed though. Like you said with Sam, expect the unexpected. Bro, the way you're making it be though, like you killed it. Unless they have another Einstein apply, you got it. For once, I agree with you, Sam. So yeah, bro. Where do you want to go now? <sighs> Alright, fine. What about Outback? Alright, just meet me at my place first. What's, What's up, up, baby? What's good, bro? What's good, bro? How you, How you been? been? Yeah, I think bro, dude. God bless you, man. Fuck out, bro. Chilling. You know? Yeah. Same old, same old. You seen Russ's text, bro? Yeah, I did. Man plans out this dinner and ends up canceling. I mean, he's sick, bro. Give him a break. Since Russ canceled on us, do you want to go to the falls? You know, just like the good old days? The falls? I don't know, man. It's been so long. Come on, man. It's only going to take like an hour max. All right, fine.
It's been such a long time. Let's get closer to the edge. I bet. Come on, man. Are you going to tell me how you actually did in the interview? Bro, what do you mean? I told you it went just fine. Just because I'm bad in Orgo doesn't mean I'm stupid. You've been acting all weird since the interview. If you did just fine, you would be in a better mood. Man, I don't really know who I am, dude. What? I don't know who the hell I am, Wasam. You know, the first thing the interviewer asked me was to tell her about myself. Something so simple, yet I just blanked. What'd you say? Nothing. Nothing? And after you didn't say anything, she just went to the second question? <sighs> no. I walked away like an idiot. I knew once she asked me that, that my chances of going to med school went down the drain. And did you just walk out that interview after that? <sighs> yeah, I did. <laughs> Dude, are you stupid? You just walked away? You could have literally said anything. You could have made up anything. Talked about how hardworking you are or how smart you are. But you ended up walking away? How could you lose such a great opportunity, bro? Like, such an idiot! What? Come on, bro. How can you mess this up? What the fuck, man? Are you serious? You're supposed to be my friend! But no, all you do is ridicule every single thing I do. I can't do shit when I'm around you. My real friends, like Russ, they actually help me out. I'm gonna, the truth hurts, bro. I'm not gonna sit here and sugarcoat shit for you just like how Russ does it. I'm sorry that you didn't get accepted to med school. No, man, you know what? It's always been the same with you. I, you know, I blame some of my downfall on you. You can't, you can't blame this on me, bro. The fact no. that you didn't get accepted to med school is all on you. Let and me you ask know you, this. Let me you ask know you something. This. Let me ask you something. Where were you when I was studying for the MCAT? Huh? Russ was there to help me when I needed help with my personal statement. Russ was there to help me. Where were you at? Imagine if they had heard about this. What did you just say? I said, what do you think, Daya? Dude, bro, stop. Dude, stop. Stop.
Metal School. <risos> Oh my god! <laughs> 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 